This is Fort Logan National Cemetery. It's a place of honor. A veteran's cemetery has a sound all its own. There's emotion. It's just hard any time you see anyone getting killed in the line of duty. <sighs> and commitment. If you listen close enough, you'll find these 214 acres in southwest Denver. We have over 100,000 interred here. Are filled with the sound of service. And you can begin. These volunteers. George W. Key, thank you for your service. Many in uniform. If it wasn't for these guys, there's no way I could do the job that I do to protect a community are here to celebrate the lives of these vets. All too often our veterans get ignored and we want to show them the respect that they well deserve. 40,000 veterans honored this afternoon. They lost their lives for us in those wars, keeping our country safe. Words of gratitude for their service echoing through these hallowed grounds. Dorothy V. Arthur Coyne. Herman Fred Botcher. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. It's not Memorial Day or Veterans Day or any other special day that prompted this outpouring. You can always honor a veteran wherever you are and not just on a holiday. It was 12-year-old Preston Sharp. <laughs> 1,200 miles from home. From Redding, California. And on a mission most middle schoolers couldn't comprehend. I got really frustrated and really mad that our veterans were not being honored. And so my mom taught me if you see something wrong to do something about it. The call was answered by all ages. Thank you for your service. Some who served overseas. As a Vietnam vet, it's a privilege to be able to feel this today. And others who serve a little closer to home. Just a big reminder of what that little thing called freedom cost us. 40,000 veterans honored. <sighs> Some gave all. Detective Donnie Young among them. We all serve the people. We're here for everyone, the community. And um, that's exactly what Donnie did. He was just doing his job. He'll never be forgotten. I didn't know him, but I will never forget him. He's one of thousands recognized today, each with their own story of serving and protecting our country, all deserving of one final mission, to fill this quiet place of honor with the sounds of a grateful community. Thank you for your service with our military and also with us at the DPD. Your memory will last forever, my friend.